Maria, hello. Maria Costello. Maria Costello. Maria Costello. Maria Costello. Maria Costello. Hi, Maria. Hi, Maria. Hi, Maria. 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 Why you gotta do me like that? She ain't my baby. Mm, she ain't my girl. Happy senior honoring Maria. Do you remember when we met at Life Teen Camp Hidden Lake and I told you that I was coming to Franciscan or you like heard that and we had that small conversation? I always thought, huh, she's really cool. I'll probably never actually be friends with her. And little did I know that you in a matter of three years would become my coordinator, my sister and my friend. We met when you were younger than I am right now. That's kind of crazy. I feel like honored to have like known you and for you and Tiana to be the first people that I get to say I met that were in DOZ. When I intended the night, um, the night I intended and you walked past me on the sidewalk, I think you were with Sarah actually. And you like walked past me and like, I didn't even think anything of it. Like I kind of like waved a little bit, but you were talking with her. And then I walked to the JC and you texted me and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Like I didn't say hi or like anything. Like my mind was just racing about you intending tonight and all this stuff. And you just like felt so bad for not like saying hi. And I honestly didn't think anything of it. Um, so just the fact that like you cared so much, like meant the world to me. I remember freshman year seeing pictures of you and like Jackie and Kateri and like everyone else like intending to DOZ um, on the Instagram and I just like remember looking up to you so much and being like wow like I want to be their friend like I want to get to know them. You really have been a big sister to me all throughout my Franciscan experience. Like you have been a part of um, a lot of the very <laughs> significant um, things in my Franciscan experience and I think it's just primarily because we have very similar interests and we like the same things and that's really cool. Um, a really cool thing to share in. Last year I loved working with you. Um, you were so happy and funny um, and so cool to talk to and I'm really glad that I did get to know you a little bit last year. You have done such an amazing job helping lead us this year. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for the way that you've led a household and for the way that you've used your gifts to serve us. We were so incredibly blessed to have you as our coordinator. Thank you for pouring into household, for being willing to be coordinator with all the struggles that that includes that I don't even see. Thank you for being an incredible coordinator. Thank you for everything that you did for household this semester. You've just led us with just so much love and straightforwardness. The way that you have led with Grace this year um, has been so, so good and such a blessing to all of us. I just wanna thank you for the incredible job that you have done with Household this semester. I know that I texted you and Grace a while back, but I, I really, again, just wanna thank you for all of the hard work that you did and everything that went unseen and I really just want to also thank you for your leadership this semester. I really think that you've taken so much initiative and you've really guided us closer to Zion. So I want to thank you for that. I just want to thank you for all the ways that you led, for all the ways that you loved us through your leading. You just lead so fearlessly and with so much care, like you care about household and you care about the way things are done and you do it right. You've been so awesome and so good to me and all of the intents. I know we all love you so much. Um, thank you for like making this work despite the circumstances and letting all of us experience the joy that comes from formation. I am so, so grateful that you were one of my coordinators this year. Um, thank you for everything that you've done. Um, just with all this confusion and making sure that we can still do formation and still um, participate in household and like be a part of things and thank you for including us in DMCs and Zooms and um, just like praying for us. Um, it's been so powerful and I am so grateful to have had you in my life this past year. You always, even like this quarter zip, like I'm wearing your quarter zip right now. like. 
you're just so generous and so giving um, of yourself in so many ways and just being able to be in a household while you were coordinator is such a gift because I feel like I've gotten to know you as a leader um, and as a sister and I am so grateful for everything that you've done for Daughters of Zion. I want to thank you for your yes to leading us this past year and for your unfailing comic relief, um, your chillness, <laughs> Um, in the heart that you have for this household and the well-being of each and every sister. It didn't go unnoticed. I've been really impressed. Impressed with your faithfulness. Impressed with um, how you've clearly led us in the hand of the Lord. Just know that you have done an incredible job and have left a lasting impact on household. Thank you for bringing your servant leadership. The ways that you have called out the gifts in our sisters has built up household into something that I never could have foreseen. Your influence on me has been huge. I probably wouldn't be in household without you. You just have so much love in you, like just literally just so much. And so to be able to just receive that from you this past year and also to just see how you just pour it out on other people has been such an incredible thing to witness. You were just so warm to me and really had my back. I always knew that you had my back and had my best intentions at heart and you were just like an awesome big sister to me. I'm really glad that I've gotten to know you and I wanna thank you for all the times I like barged into your room to come cry to Grace or something, but you were just so sweet and fun to be around. Um, but just like in the communications program, you've really been such a source of consolation. Whenever I've had hesitations or um, been unsure of something, you were there to be like, mm, yep, <laughs> I've had the same questions and it's okay, like we'll get through this. Um, and so that was just um, really great to have you um, in, yeah going before me through the comp program and then in admissions this semester just um you helped me appreciate franciscan more just i mean in like things you said in tours um i really was able to gain a deeper appreciation for the community we have here at franciscan and um also especially in household um so yeah i was able to come to you <laughs> Um, right away when I was um, interested in household and you listened to me and um, took me seriously even though I was crazy <laughs> am crazy I've just really been able to follow you like seriously as a big sister like through um, my Franciscan experience and I'm so glad I don't know Franciscan without you Maria you're an incredible woman you remind me um, of the importance of being like yourself just being a freaking normal christian i'm gonna miss your presence in household so much i'm gonna miss your laugh i'm gonna miss your spunk you are a strong strong woman you're cool and you're fun and you're silly and you're radical you are a freaking queen you are so joyful and silly and fun you're such a strong woman but you're so kind and so loving i want to affirm you in the ways that you live for adventure and you live to love you live authentically as yourself and it's incredibly beautiful you're just an amazing person with the little blips that i've seen that i can see of what you've done that i can see in you know how faithful that you are to your friends um and how faithful you are to us I'm just really amazed by you and inspired by you. You really put yourself and your heart into um, all the people around you and I saw that as you um, as coordinator, it was just incredible. Um, and even when you were struggling, you just really buckled down and like took care of those around you. I remember when you got inducted in the letter that I wrote to you. I remember writing that you have a gift of peace and that you're just a peaceful presence and you bring peace to wherever you are and i've seen you do that with household and i just see you do that with everyone that you come in contact with thank you for doing that with me in my heart i really just want to thank you for your openness not only to sisterhood but to serving the lord constantly day in and day out by doing tours and by 
just little things that you do to guide others closer to Christ. Just the little moments too, like going roller skating and like household dinners and I'm just like so grateful that I like got to meet you, got to meet you. And also it's just so funny like that we found out this year that you, me, and Natalie were all at LTLC. Um, that just like further proves to me that like we were meant to like be friends and like join the same household. Thank you for being open, for sharing your heart with household, for always being joyful, making us laugh. Thank you for bringing your joy, your sense of humor to household. I love your smile. You have a great smile. It just like lights up your whole face. And I feel like when people see you smiling, they're like, I want to smile too. You're so sassy sometimes and like so, so funny and just fun to be around and like such a hard worker too. And your heart for Christ is beautiful. Um, your heart for others is beautiful. Thank you for constantly, you know, just encouraging me when I had a, when I've had hard times and just loving me so well. I'm honestly just really grateful for the witness of your love of Christ, for the witness of your love of our sisters. And I just want to thank you for just like being so good at pointing household to Christ and for just being so kind and open and just like never being too busy to have a conversation or to like check on me and see how I'm doing. Um, and I just want to thank you for your leadership and what you showed through it. Um, and I'm praying for you and I hope to see you again. Thank you for listening to Jesus. I have no doubts that the Lord is gonna do literally insane things in your life. Can't wait to see what country you end up in. <laughs> Maria, you really are a gift. I didn't anticipate, um, yeah, getting to know you so well. And if there's one thing I know, especially over every conversation and small moment that we've had is that you're an intentional woman, that you see people very deeply, that you think very deeply. And I'm grateful to have just gotten a glimpse of that part of you, your gift. I'm going to miss you a lot. I am sure the Lord is going to make our paths cross once more. There's literally no doubt in my mind. Thanks for being my 210 homie <laughs> in household. I'm going to miss you a lot. I love you a lot. Um, I'm so grateful for all you have done this year to serve household. And I'm just, yeah, living across from you was so fun in our random conversations we would have. And just, yeah. Just want to let you know that I love you and I appreciate you and I'm going to miss you a lot. And um, you'll always have a place in my heart. You're so loved um, by this household, by me, by the Father. And I know that Franciscan is, is losing a good one <laughs> with you graduating. But the world is gaining a saint because you are going to go out and you're going to bring so many people to Christ. Um, I just want to say I love you and I'm praying for you, and you're amazing, Maria. I just wish I could hug you goodbye. I hope you come to all the reunions because we want to see you. I can't wait to see all the beautiful things that you do to give God glory in the future. Um, I'll miss you, I love you, and I'll always be praying for you. May God grant you peace. I'm just gonna miss you so much, and I love you, and just know that like I'm so, so grateful that like we get to share this sisterhood together, and that you're always in my prayers and I love you so much. I'm gonna miss you so much next year. Um, I know you're gonna do great things moving forward, um, but yeah, I'll definitely miss you a lot. You are so cool. <laughs> you are the glory of God and I will you're good. So thank you, thank you for sharing your faith with us. Thank you for sharing yourself with us and you are the glory of God and I will, you're good. I'm really happy you're staying in Steubenville next year, so this isn't actually a goodbye, and I look forward to all the adventures to come. Love you so much. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your life and everything that you're doing, and I will be praying for you, and I know that you're gonna do amazing things because anyone who starts out in admissions does. <laughs> but anyways, I love you. Thank you for everything, and I'm praying for you. You are the glory of God, and I will, you're good and I am always praying for you. And you can bet your bottom dollar I will be visiting you in Texas soon. Great state of Texas, I love it. <laughs> and you better come visit us next year because we're all really missing you. All right.
I love you, Maria. You're good. You're good. And I will. You're good. Know that I'll be praying for you wherever you go and whatever you do. And I just hope you know how beautiful you are in the eyes of household, in the eyes of the Father. You are the glory of God. And I will. You're good. I'm going to miss you a lot. I'm going to miss you on wing. Um, I'm going to miss laughing at you. I don't know. Like, I just... I just laugh at you. <laughs> but you appreciated it because it reminded you of your little sister. So, you're welcome. Um, yeah. Maria, I love you a lot. Thank you for being there for me. Um, when I was asking dumb questions, probably. You are the glory of God, and I will your good, and I will see you soon. The way you care and the way you give. Um, it was amazing to witness over these past, uh, few years. Um... <laughs> But Maria, I love you and I'm so excited to see where you go um, and whatever jobs, especially like since we like similar things wherever we end up the next few years. But just know that I'm praying for you and I'm so thankful to know you. We're so glad to know you. Um, Maria, you are the glory of God and I will you're good. Um, thank you for the dance parties and for all the ways that you have made me a better person. Maria, you're going to do really great things. I can't wait to see it. The Lord is going to work in amazing ways through you, and it's going to glorify Him. Maria, you're the glory of God, and I will you're good. Just know that I will always love you. You are always my sister. I know this is not goodbye. I'll probably see you at graduation or weddings, things like that, but yeah, just know that I love you a lot, and there's always place for you in my heart. Maria, you are the glory of God, and I love you good. <laughs> um, <laughs> Maria, we really wish we didn't have to honor you this way, and that you got a proper senior honoring, because you deserve best. But alas, here we are. And um, we wanted to start it off with a cute, a cute little poem for you. Ask <laughs> Jacqueline why you spell cute. <laughs> I spelled it with a Q at first. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay. Jack and Jill went up Mount Zion to fetch a pail of Lord's water. Jack fell down. Jill fell down. And Maria came running after. Golden, I think we're going to get it framed for you. Probably should. Maria, thank you so much for literally everything you've done for us. You were everything we didn't know we needed, and we could not have imagined anyone else being our big. Maria, remember that one time you were my tour guide when I was thinking about coming to Franciscan? Little did I know that seven months later, you would be guiding me somewhere a bit more important than Staraji Hall. God knew that we needed you to lead us to Zion. Maria, um, through formation um, and the pillars, um, you really taught me how to abandon. Um, and you taught me how it's okay um, to feel the way that I feel, but to uh, not dwell on it and to be able to give it all up to God. Um, I feel like abandon was the week that we just like really like got to know each other. Um, and we really opened up to each other and we let each other into our lives. And it was very special and very Um, it's funny that Jacqueline talked about abandon because I also want to talk about abandon and we're both your littles and we both had great experiences, apparently abandon week with you. So good job, Maria. Um, abandon is honestly, it was probably one of the hardest pillars that I had to go through. Um, just because like, I love to hold on to things. Um, but going through abandon with you um, just, like, made me feel a lot more comfortable, um, 
and like it felt like I wasn't going through it alone um and you just helped me open my heart to God and like truly let him into my brokenness and you just like took time to talk to me and like make sure everything like was going okay um abandoned week um and you just led me to see the pillar abandoned in just like a whole new light Um, my favorite memory with you was probably retreat. Um, it was so black, and I know, like, it was so different for everyone. Um, but you really guided me through the whole weekend. Um, I honestly felt, like, really out of place and uncomfortable and, like, was just, like, fearful and, like, really afraid, like, what if I, like, jumped into this too soon? Um, but when you were around, you helped calm me um, and you allowed me to like truly open up and be myself. I don't think I ever told you how much you helped me that weekend, um, but you really did. And um, you really made me feel um, welcome uh, in our household. Um, so thank you. I hope to one day sunbathe on a roof with you again. Um, and I will steal that blue dress that you got from Mexico from me one day. <laughs> um, Maria, I just love all of the things uh, we got to do in the short amount of time that we've known each other. Um, one of my favorite memories with you was the time that we went to Crazy Mex and the whole entire Scent core team was there, especially that one boy who will not be named. <laughs> Um, it was just, we walked in and it was just so funny and it was just a very awkward situation, but also very funny. Um, what are the odds? Um, I also love the night of Ben's 21st birthday party. <laughs> that was really funny. Um, I remember, I think we were just getting out of like business meeting or DMC, one of them. Um, and we were like debating on going, like, it was just like all the guys, like we were just like maybe going to go for an for a little bit like and then we decided we were going to go for an hour um and then we got there and we decided to stay there until 4 a.m <laughs> and then we pretty sure that we did a calf run that night like connell was driving i don't know it was fun um very fun night for us um also still waiting on our double date that that's gonna be a blast um one day when we're not social distancing. Um, another thing that just always makes me happy, like, always puts a smile on my face, um, just, like, going down to your room, just being able to, like, sit with you and talk about life and the happy times, the stressful times, but just being able to talk with you is just always a joy. Um, Maria, holy freaking cow. Did you help me through everything with Asian, um, literally from start to end? Um, you were someone that I always knew that I could turn to um, that would just tell me exactly what I needed to hear um, in a kind and loving way, um, in a way that like no one else was talking to me. Um, uh, you really helped me through all the highs and lows during that relationship. And I cannot thank you enough for that. I really, as tough as it was, um, I would not have been able to get through it without you. And um, Maria, you have a heart of gold and you give way more than you receive. You are so dang beautiful inside and out and you love fearlessly and unconditionally, and that's clear to literally everyone around you. Um, you've helped our household in so many ways and loved us all so freaking well. Um, I saw that especially um, fall semester when I wasn't on campus. Um, I was so excited to be able to come back and just see the ways that you changed and just helped household grow. Um, and I don't think I ever told you this, and it might be slightly creepy, um, but my favorite thing to do is watch you during praise. Um, you just look so in awe of the Father's love, 
and the things that he's done. Um, and you're just so immersed in the ways that he loves you and your love for the Father is so beautiful and so inspiring. Uh, Maria, you are just very courageous and you live freely as the Father intended all of us to. You dream, you dream big and you pretty much do whatever you want. Um, Maria, I really do look up to you in so many ways. Uh, your spiritual life is something that I admire. We may not have finished our Marian consecration, but you do make a really good job of making time for prayer every day, and you desire to get to Mass daily, um, which is something that I've been trying to live out as well, which is very difficult in this time, but on campus, it's a little, little bit easier. Um, yeah, I admire your independence, and I strive to one day be like more confident and independent like you. Um, remember that one time I finally went to the gym alone and I could not figure out how to work the treadmill. And I was just calling you and texting you, trying to figure out how to turn the treadmill on. I easily could have just gone to the desk and been like, hey guys, can you help me out? But no, I was too scared. So I just called and texted you. Uh, good times. Baby step towards independence. Um, anyway, you always make yourself available to talk to me, whether it's mass and dinner, 2 a.m. in the Tommy lobby after Ray and Benson leave, or FaceTime calls while social distancing. Maria, I look up to you, the woman that you are, and you truly have stretched me to be a person that I just did not know that I was capable of being, so thank you for that. Not only uh, did we gain an amazing big sister and friend for you, but we also got each other. And um, I know that you only ever thought you would have one little, but I'm so dang glad you didn't stop after me. <laughs> you have left your mark with us, and I cannot thank you enough for the gift of Jillian Hazel. <laughs> Maria, thank you. Uh, words just cannot describe how thankful I am for your yes to coming to Franciscan, to joining Daughters of Zion, and to saying yes to being our bigs. Thank you for taking time out of not one, but two semesters of your college experience to lead us, little Anoimis, towards Christ. Me and Jack turned out to be pretty okay sisters, if I do say so myself. So <laughs> thank you for showing us the importance of sisterhood and the fruits that come from it. I love you and I already miss you and I'm gonna miss you next year. Thank you for all that you've done for both of us. We are the glory of God and we will your good, Maria. I'll see you in the Eucharist, buddy. <laughs> lots and lots of love, Jack. And Jill. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh, I forgot to click. We're still recording. We're still recording. Yeah, we're still recording. Okay, bye. Okay, bye.